Hey guys, Tom McKeown at www.yourtruechange.com. Uh, thanks for joining me. Uh, beautiful day here in Austin, Texas, uh, September the 23rd, uh, 2013. And I want to talk to you today uh, about the mathematics of uh, network marketing. Uh, we all know that network marketing is probably one of the most scrutinized, uh, misunderstood industries uh, out there. Um, and I think uh, there's some very good reasons why. Uh, I myself uh, thought uh, very, very um, uh, low of uh, the network marketing profession uh, prior to, to the time when I got involved. And it wasn't really because of any sort of substance or, you know, any real, real uh, facts. It was more just based on, you know, stereotypes, opinions, what people had told me. Um, but then uh, once my, my, my wife got involved and she was very successful at it and once I've gotten involved and I've really studied the model and compared it to different models and such, uh, I've realized that, that in order really to attain a life of freedom and uh, to basically raise capital if you want to become an entrepreneur uh, and build other types of businesses, uh, the money that you can make from network marketing uh, probably is one of the best um, or the money that you can make from network marketing probably justifies it as being one of the best methods to truly pursue. Um, and what I want to do today is go over an article uh, that I read recently on a um, Rich Brooks uh, blog, um, blissbusiness.com, and I'm going to uh, include that here uh, in the episode links, um, where he really gets into the nitty-gritty uh, of mathematics of multi-level marketing, really the way that you should look at it. And I think this is really what people need to know um, about the industry and about the business despite the uh, company you're with, the products you sell, the model that you're involved with. Okay, um, I think these rules really apply across the industry in general as a whole and really probably what most people need to know even more so than their own company's compensation plan. Um, so let's take a look here at the uh, mathematics of the home-based business industry and network marketing. Okay, uh, Number one, uh, of course, is that um, a $2 million um, equity that you have, whether it be um, in a real estate asset or, let's say, in stocks, like a portfolio um, um, and like a, a dividend payout. A $2 million uh, net worth is basically w um, worth um, you being able to take out $10,000 a month uh, roughly of income, right? Because if you really look at uh, that, um, you're obviously going to be able to charge $10,000 a month uh, for a $2 million house, right? Or you're going to be able to take that much money out for a $2 million asset, whether it's a portfolio or 401k uh, or any type of ETF or most instruments that are common, right? Well, a $10,000 um, a month income in network marketing, therefore, should be put to the equivalent um, of a $2 million asset, okay? And if you really think about it, um, you know, uh, Rich Brooks says that it takes about 24 months or so two years to build up your net worth in network marketing to get to $10,000 a month. Now, many people, uh, including my wife, are doing it in much less time, okay, only a couple of months. But the reality is, is for most people that really put the time and effort, two years is probably where you're going to. So keep in mind that a $10,000 a month um, income um, Net income and network marketing is equivalent to $2 million asset. That's the way that you should be looking at it. Uh, number two, of course, is um, in order to really generate that $10,000 a month in network marketing, you realistically need about 100 builders, people who really are going out there and who are taking the business seriously, even part-time, but as long as they're taking the business seriously and putting the work in, okay? Um, and if you ask most professional network marketers, as, as Rich Brooks uh, says, um, if you have 100 builders on your, on your team, you will generate an asset income of $10,000 a month or more. Many actually say uh, $20,000 a month or more, but we're going to be conservative here. Uh, of course, on this show, I don't like to give any pie in the sky, you know, bullshit numbers. Uh, number three, um, how do you do this? How do you get, you know, 100 serious bu business builders in 24 months? And Rich Brooks says that the formula is very, very simple. Three presentations weekly, okay? So you do either three 
three coffees, three lunches, three dinners with a group of people and you give your presentation. Uh, three webinars, right? So you can do this, um, you know, uh, three mini conferences, whatever. And then with time, you're going to become really good. He says usually after about, you know, three or four weeks and after you've done about 12 or 15 presentations, you're then going to have the presentation down pat, right? And at that point, you're going to be enrolling one out of every three people that you expose the business to. So realistically, that's an average, okay, um, of about one a month, right? Um, because if, if, if you're making those exposures, um, you're, you're, um, um, or no, I'm sorry, yeah, yeah, one a week rather, right? So, so you're, you're making those exposures and you're signing up um, one out of every three, which is, you know, pretty good ratio, okay? Now, how do you get one out of every three people uh, to convert? Well, you invite 14 people a week, Rich Brooks says. Um, so you just invite people to watch your presentation. How do you get people to watch your presentation? You talk to them. You identify, you know, where they are at in their life, what they're looking for, where's their pain. Uh, do you need more money for your daughter to go to college? You might want to come and take a look at this. Do you need more money to sit there and pay, you know, for your mortgage that's underwater? Uh, do, do you need more money to pay your back debt, to pay your attorney fees? Whatever. Here's a way that your job is not necessarily going to give you, right? Uh, so, 14 people a week you should be inviting uh, to these three different presentations, okay? And then here's really sort of where the math kind of comes in to help you understand it. And really, this is kind of what got to me about this article when I knew I had to do, um, you know, a brief presentation like this on this. So if you look at it, 14, uh, um, 14, present, um, 14 invitations a week is 728 invitations a year is 1,456 invitations a year, uh, I'm sorry, per every two years rather, uh, which leads to 300 presentations in two years. Would you give 300 presentations over a two-year period to make a $10,000 a month asset income from network marketing? If the answer is yes, then I think you know what your answer is right there. Um, so what we see is that each invite is worth $1,400. Every single person that you invite to your presentation is worth $1,400, okay? Every single presentation that you conduct is worth $6,500, and every single person that you bring into the business is worth $20,000. Now, I don't know about you, but I think making $20,000 to sign somebody up, that sounds pretty good to me. Um, I myself invest, you know, I, I've got a 401k for my old job that's still out there. Um, I myself invest into a lot of stocks, uh, bonds, ETFs, uh, I've got some real estate holdings, I've got a business myself, a more brick and mortar type business. I don't know of any other business that will generate these types of numbers and this type of return. Do you? If you do, then please let me know because I'd like to know what it is. But that's the mathematics of multi-level marketing and one of the reasons why I think it's um, or why I agree with the great Robert Kiyosaki that network marketing is here, not only here to stay, but it's the business of the 21st century. Um, I invite you to please come on and to see my, my fast five steps uh, to uh, building a business from nothing. It's a free uh, five-minute video on www.yourtruechange.com. Thanks again for joining. I'm Tom McKeown.